Here we go everyone, it's the big one. Today we have not only the final game of our La Liga season with Villarreal, we also have our Europa League final. That's right, I didn't show you the semi-final. We kind of cruised through it and now here we are, ready for the final which I think we could actually win and it would end up being a massive season for us so far considering it started off and, I mean, the full way through. I've been a bit hesitant, a bit disappointed but it looks like it could have an amazing end to the season today. Before we get into it though, if you guys could keep showing the support the way you have, I'd greatly appreciate appreciate it smash the like button subscribe until we get to whatever number we're getting very close to 8,000 now so any support to get to that number would be great if you're watching to this point why not hit the button it doesn't harm you you can change your mind at any point drop a comment down below if you want to as well but with that being said I won't waste too much time we've got two games to get into today not many updates outside of that I mean if we just quickly check on our form before we start the video the last time you saw us was when um olympiacos you saw lazio of course you saw us play lazio didn't you where we had that amazing comeback to make it into the semi-final of europa league we've been winning in most of our league games we did lose a match to real madrid after our big match against sevilla in the europa league so i wasn't too bothered about that and we also drew to sevilla recently but yeah um in terms of what we did to sevilla in the semi-final which you didn't see we won one nil when they were down to 10 men in the first leg and i just thought that second leg i just felt like we we're going to get over the line with the form you're in and I was hoping I'll be able to show you a final in the last episode of a series the season not the series we're not done just yet we've got a lot of time until we win the eventual Champions League but winning a Europa League would be a massive achievement for us we've been in great form obviously this match against Valencia in the league doesn't mean too much now because I was hoping at this point we might be able to catch them but they're a bit too far ahead we have solidified that fourth spot we're a good distance away from any of the chasing pack but we won't be getting any higher than fourth this season which if you'd offered at the start of a season a Europa League win maybe a fourth place spot I wouldn't be too mad at that but I do want to do more next season I think we've revolutionized the team particularly in the second half of this year and I think that will go a long way towards having a much better performance in the league next season but 74 points is not too bad at all ahead of Sevilla ahead of Atletico Madrid we're doing very well and I think I'll take this opportunity to rest a lot of players against Valencia um, but one other thing I want to mention unless the Europa League changes uh, our budgets it's going to be a bit of a hard summer. We've been given £5 million to deal with and only £52,000 wage budget. Our finances are a bit in the gutter and they also have given me like less transfer revenue, percentage of transfer revenue than I would have wanted. So we'll see what happens. I might have to sell a few players who have interest in them just to get this club ticking and moving towards a squad that I'd be happy with. But with that being said, let, let's go play Valencia, shall we? And hopefully get a win. This one isn't too much of a big deal though. So I am going to use all of the rotation players I can give everyone else who I don't think is going to start the final a rest. So let's quickly switch that over to a rotated side. Okay, there we go. I think I've done enough rotation there. We've got a side that can hopefully at least cause a bit of trouble to Valencia, but they've been in good form this season. I don't believe they're in any other competitions at this stage. So they'll probably just be going for it for a nice win to end the year. It's the battle of the two clubs beginning with V. Can we win? Probably not, but who knows? Our team is pretty decent, though. I'll run through it whilst we're in the game. I should probably have done it beforehand, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we've gone for Onana, Zagadou, Francis, Mandy, Kennedy, Aurier, Lo Celso, Coquelin, Pino, Chiquese, and Boulaidia up top. We'll see how it goes, but I'm not expecting too much. Oh, Valencia coming close very early on there, hitting the crossbar. But, you know, we move. Um, just in general, big thank you to all the support on the channel, as always. Whilst I've got a chance to say it, I'll always say thank you. Um, I'm, this will hopefully come out a little bit more regularly than the last few episodes have. I feel like I should be on top of this one and maybe I can get this one out a few days after the last one went out. I know there have been a few complaints recently in the comments about how sporadic this series is. But as I said to those comments... You're more than welcome not to watch if the sporadity of the videos is too much for you. But to be honest, I've got a social life, a relationship, a full-time job, uh, four videos a week on FM Scout. If I can then put any videos out on here, this is my passion project, then that is awesome. I also mentioned there was something going on behind the scenes with the channel. Um, I might have released it yet, I don't know, but I've got a rebuild coming up. It's one of those one-off rebuild videos that I've been doing and I haven't done one for a little while. I'm very excited for this one, but that video is going to be sponsored and I'll explain a little bit more about that when that video comes out, whether it's before this or after. Check it out. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. But yeah, um, 
How we're still in this game, I don't know, because I feel like Valencia are having chance after chance, but we're getting away with it. Um, also to note as well, the last episode, someone mentioned to me, it was a good guy called Jaw over on the Discord. He mentioned to me that there was an issue where for like a minute, the camera had frozen. If you see anything like that, where the gameplay stops or the face cam freezes, do let me know. I'm trying to figure out what the issue is. I think it was something when the video was exporting, but apologies to anyone who did notice that. I really don't know what's going on. If anyone knows anything about that, do let me know. But yeah, hopefully it'll be fixed and you won't see it again. But who knows? Anyway, back to Football Manager and a game that I've kind of just overlooked while it's been going on. But it is half time. It is nil nil. We're not doing terribly, but realistically, Valencia should be winning. They've got a very good young squad, Valencia, actually. And they're not a team that I was expecting to be worried about in this save. It was actually who I was considering managing in La Liga. Uh, but I went for Villarreal and said... But the more that I see Valencia in this league, I think they're only going to get better. I mean, they will lose Mariba off his loan deal, but everyone in their squad is fairly young and is a half-decent player. So they are going to be a threat throughout this save, I would have thought. But we might have a chance here because we are building the ball up very nicely around their box. It would be undeserved if we went ahead and Pino comes close, but it's blocked and it does go out for a corner. But in general, yeah, this game, it's not the end of the world. Whatever happens, I'm very, very hopeful for our Europa League final, which if I didn't mention, we played Sociedad in the quarters. We played Sevilla in the semi, so two Spanish teams that we should be better than based on the league standings. And have we scored? I feel like that was onside. I feel like Jeremy Pino might have just put his 1-0 up. It's a good move, if so, from the corner. Let's just wait and see if it gets given. It would have been close if it is offside. And it has been disallowed. Let's see why. But yeah, I was going to say that we beat two Spanish teams to get to the final. And now the final is also against a Spanish team that's arguably worse than the two teams we've played in Real Betis. Um, I feel like Pino was definitely on side there, just, by, just to point that out. Someone pause that and check, but I feel like we, he was definitely on. But yeah, um, I feel like we should beat Betis. I'd be, I wouldn't be disappointed if we didn't, because I didn't expect us to get this far in the Europa League, particularly after our Lazio game. But you know what? Now that we're in the final, I think we are probably going into that as pretty strong favourites and it could be two Europa Leagues on the bounce for Villarreal which would be very impressive actually will be the new Sevilla who I'm pretty sure won it like three times a few years ago um, but we just came very close again with Coquelin and we're putting on the pressure as this game's going on and D has found Chiquese who has got a lot of space here to finish and he's put it wide we could be winning by now like I say this game isn't actually a big deal but I still want to win it you know keep keep the momentum up if possible and it's another close one from Valencia just over the bar some of our players playing fine some of them playing average but I'm not in the mood to switch any of them I don't want to get anyone injured or tired before the big game but speaking of Pino will be someone who I want to use in the big game so actually I should probably get him off let Dan Juma do half a match as well I say half a match probably about a quarter of a match at this stage and just rotate them a little bit so they're both with full fitness going into the final Kennedy Finds Coquelin. Coquelin lines up the shot. What a finish. Francis Coquelin. Sorry if that clap broke your ears. I don't know how loud that will go through from the microphone. He does a little cartwheel to celebrate. The former Arsenal man. Um, I don't remember him being much of a goal scorer back at Arsenal. He scored a few goals for us this season. He's actually a very good squad player to have. Credit to him. He can play in a lot of roles. Um, yeah, what a finish that is. Opens his body up. Curls it into the top corner. What a finish. We're 1-0 up and hopefully that'll be enough to get us over the line in this match. You know what? Just for the sake of it, we do have like a young striker on the bench who I haven't used once yet. Maybe I should give him some game time. Juan Carlos Arana. I don't know who he was. I think when we had some players injured, we just brought him up through the dev center um, and he never got used once. But he is around. He is existing. So maybe he's a decent player. Maybe he can help us. Brian Gill. Oh, it's a bad finish from Guardes. Close to the goal. I think it was him anyway. Maybe Mandy did enough to stop that. Um, but it's a very close game overall because the XG is exactly equal. We are having lots of possession, as we always do. And for the people that said this tactic weren't working, including myself, I think we're kind of being proved wrong that the better players we get, the tactics working better as the players, I say that, we've just lost the ball there, but as the players have got more ac accustomed to the tactic, oh, great save, Anana. And we've been doing a lot better and that's what you expect. It's going to take a while to teach a team how to play this kind of system. But the defence particularly is starting to really get the hang of everything. And now we're getting to the point where the wide players, um, when they're in full fitness, can really cause some damage. I still think the only thing that maybe needs a bit of work is just that striker position and figuring out the best role, the best instructions to get the best out of it. Because it's very sporadic in terms of when it does work. Um, but we will figure it out. And we do beat Valencia on the final day of the season. It's a shame it didn't mean more. It's a shame we weren't close enough to maybe pick that third spot from them. But 
That is our La Liga season over, first season down as Villarreal boss, 77 points, fourth place finish, 12 points ahead of Atletico Madrid, but still a good, what, 15 points off the title. We're going to need a lot of work to get that close, but now we have a good 11 days now until the Europa League final. So let me pause the video until we get there and then we'll see what we do on that match day. Okay, so it is nearly Europa League final game day now. We're just clicking through the final few screens as we get towards the game. You can see the kind of players that we are scouting for our side. But um, I just wanted to note a few quick things. We had a Player of the Year award in the Spanish league, went to us, to Pau Torres, for the best player in the division this year, which was very impressive, uh, very happy with that. Um, and then a day later, he complained to me saying, I'm not getting enough game time, boss. How does that one work out, guys? How does that one match up that you can win player of the year, but also not play enough? I did check and he had played 33 out of the 38 league games this season as a starter. And he'd appeared in pretty much every other big game in European competitions. So God knows what happened there. We've got a team meeting here about the cup final. I think I'm going to go for this one, enjoy the occasion, and it seems to have helped everyone up. Yeah, let's try and cause an upset. Exactly. Let's let's do that. Did I say helped everyone up? Cheered everyone up. We've told them that we, were, we don't expect to get this far. Let's cause an upset. But realistically, if you just treated this as a one-off match, I'd expect us to win it. Um, but who knows whether that's going to be the case in a big final, whether they'll have enough to get themselves over the line is another question. Let's have a look at Betis though. Where have they finished? They finished in seventh place, 17 points behind us with only a six goal difference. I'd like to think we're better than them and we could win this, but who knows? Let's sort out the opposition instructions. A Europa League win here would be a big bonus. Obviously, Champions League qualification as a first seed yet again, instead of a fourth seed, which is what we would be. And that might make a big difference in terms of whether we can actually make the knockout stage. And hopefully that will improve our financial situation and we can actually get some budget in the future. Right. Team pick time. Let's see who we've got. Onana. Yes. Foyf. Yes. Ignacio Pau Torres. Yes. Foyf has got interest from Everton. 30 million, I'll let him go. There you go, Frank. That's your offer. Uh, Rosas is fit to play at right back, so he will. Grimaldo at left back, who, despite my criticisms of him, I checked and he's actually been one of our better players, average match rating wise. So forget what I said. He has been a great signing for us in that left wing back spot. Parejo and Kessie as our midfield. Yep, that's fine. And then Pino, Danjuma and Moreno. Let me just make sure that we've got the big boys on the bench. Chiquese will be the one that I think could cause a difference off the bench for sure. Um, and then as long as we've got Bull Idea as well, I think we're good to go, guys. Right, Europa League final. Who knows how it would be. If we get as entertaining a match as we did against Lazio, that would be awesome. But also if it's a 1-0 win like it was against Valencia, I'd also take that. Basically, I just want a trophy to add to a cabinet in our first year as manager here at Villarreal, which will mean that we'll have had a good successful season no matter what happens. But here we go. We're off in the match. Europa League final. Where are we playing it? Um, 39,000 attendance. It doesn't say there, does it, where we're playing? No, I have no idea where we're playing this Europa League final, to be honest. But here we go. We have the first highlight of the game and it is Betis on the ball. Obviously, it says Real Hispalas, but their very real name is Betis. It just seems like my name pack's gone haywire since the winter update. I obviously need to fix it. Um, but we do manage to steal the ball back with Grimaldo. On to Dan Juma now. He plays it back to Pau Torres and we're playing in a very nice red kit. We've got the ball under control. Kessie, Pau Torres, Ignacio... We're just waiting for a moment. That's a great ball from Ignacio. One of our new signings to the club plays it to our other one, Grimaldo. Dan Juma finds some space. Parejo hits it with his left just wide of the post. That's a great start from his very, very happy with that. And despite possession actually being in Betis' favour, we've had the first big chance of the game. They're looking like they're playing a 4-2-3-1 system. Um, so we might get a bit of joy out wide, I would have thought, because they're going to be quite narrow. Uh, they do have a wide target man though, so who knows how that's going to shape up. But anyway... So far, so good. 35 minutes in. We've had the only big chance. It seems pretty even. Possession is leaning towards them. XG towards us. Just one of those games so far. And I'm sure it will open up a lot more in the second half. Um, let's say the fans deserve a trophy. Let's win it for them. It seems to be whenever you do a team talk in Football Manager and mention the fans, the players seem to think you're some kind of crazy person. Who would ever think of the fans? But here we go. We have a highlight. It's the second one of the game. And it starts with us on the ball this time instead of Betis. Here's Kessie into Dan Schumer. Jared Moreno, if he finds the left back Grimaldo, he is in space and he does. Grimaldo is going to burst forward. He usually cuts it back from these positions and he does to Pau Torres, who finds Parejo. Kessie, there's space on that right wing if Pino can play it over once more. He does. Rosas now. Parejo. Parejo crosses it in. It takes a bit of a deflection. Falls to Jared Moreno. Out to Danjuma. Danjuma gets brought down for a potential penalty, maybe? No, it hasn't been given. But now Betis are on the ball. And is this actually a Betis highlight despite pressure in the box from us? No, it's came all the way back out to Pau Torres. 
He brings it down onto Kessie. Kessie to Danjuma. This is the longest highlight I think I've ever seen. Parejo shrugs a player off. Danjuma with a great incisive ball. Can Pino finish? Jeremy Pino does score in the Europa League final. Our youngster, who is getting better and better as the season has gone on, started really well and then mid-season had a big slump and now he's starting to pick up again. What a goal that is, but all credit should actually go. As good as the finish was, what an assist that is from Danjuma. Perfectly falls to Pino, who finishes it well. At to, up to this point, he actually has the lowest match rate in before that goal and I was ready to sub him for Chiquese, but it's a good job I didn't. We are one up. And Betis instantly have a highlight from the centre. Are they going to go for an instant reply? Or can we make it 2-0 and really put this game to bed in a matter of minutes? Let's see. Nice build-up play from Betis. They've got a man through in the middle, but Rose asked as well to stop the ball getting out wide so they can't service him. Ignacio, he's got a good bit of passing range on him, that lad. The youngster. Kessie, Ignacio. The way that we've changed this team around player-wise is really impressive in my eyes. We've rebuilt them really well without having a massive net spend. Danjuma with a long shot. It's out wide. And he doesn't go in. But just think, a goalkeeper of Onana's level in the net. We've got Pau Torres and Foyf, obviously, at the club. Now partnered with a very, very good young centre-back. Rosas, our player. Grimaldo, our player. Kessi, our player. It's just the forward line I think I need to reinvigorate a little bit. But even so, it's still a very good forward line. Can't lie. Um, but here we go. 66 minutes in, and it's Betis. With probably their most dangerous opportunity of the match in terms of where they have the ball right now. And it's a great ball from William Quarvalio. Quarvalio, Carvalho, and Wanmi hits the post, thankfully, and it falls nicely into Onana's hands. We'll take that. That was a big moment for Betis. That could have been the one to even the game up, but we've managed to survive, and it gives me a little bit of hope. But now I will make a few changes. The first one being Chiquese on for Pino, and also Grimaldo is going to come off out wide for Pedraza, and Rosas is going to come off for Aurier. That's three substitutes out of, what, five that we'll have, six if it goes extra time, and it's just freshening up those wide areas with some very good players who are of as good quality of the people we've taken off, and that should hopefully put a bit of pressure on Betis up top and also Jared Moreno is now going to come off for Bulaidia and we're going to take Parejo off who's a little bit tired now off for Coquelin and there we go that's our five subs used 84 minutes into the game I feel like this highlight oh great tackle Kessie I feel like this highlight is just because we made some subs sometimes football manager does that and um, so hopefully the ball can just go out and we can carry on with the game but who knows maybe we are leading up to a big opportunity here Pau Torres on to Ignacio that's Pau Torres, Kessie. We're playing the ball around nicely, even if this isn't a highlight for a chance. It's just good to see the way that we do create uh, chances with the ball, the way that we do move it about. Um, but the more this goes on, I'm now worried Bessis might do something here. Can we just end the highlight, please? Moreno flicks it on. Parejo now, Serge Aurier. He loses it. Wanmi's got the ball. Wanmi finds Canales. Canales with a shot just over the bar. We get very lucky there. And with five minutes to go, I do not want to see another highlight start. The players we've got on the pitch now, we should be fine. We've got the energy. Can we blow your whistle, referee? Have we won the Europa League? We have. 1-0 win. It didn't go to penalties against Man U this time. This time, we won it in 90 minutes. A great goal from the youngster, Jeremy Pino. Villarreal, born and bred. We're going to take that trophy home. Pau Torres is going to lift that high above his head. Where am I? There I am with my little pink tie on with whoever this guy is. The team looking good. We're ready for bigger things, though. It's a Europa League this year, next year. Who knows what it will be. Hopefully, we'll get closer to the Champions League. Well done to the boys. We deserve to celebrate. A great moment. I am just going to hold on the video for a little bit just because I want to see if maybe we'll get some kind of money boost from that and allow a new transfer budget. Chiquete got a little bit injured. We received some money or some um, praise spirit. Everyone playing well. Torres does really well as usual. Well done, uh, pal Torres. You are an awesome centre-back. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. If we now advance a day, just to let that settle in, Club Vision, right. We have not got a budget at all this summer. So I'm going to ask, where is it? Make board request, finance, increase transfer budget. The board will get back. To okay, so they're not actually going to discuss it with me. They're just going to get back to me. Will they get back to me soon? And this, should we do the end of season review while we're here? Why not? Let's have a bit of fun with that. I usually always skip this bit when you guys aren't on camera, but as you're here, let's enjoy it. So we have Andre Onana getting a very good uh, rate in there. Um, release clause would also make an excellent deal for the club. I'm sure it would. But it looks like all our signings have gone down well. We've got uh, Francis going down well, Kessie going down really well, um, Zagadou going down really well, Onana going down well, Grimaldo. This is the first time for a long time that all of my, so far at least, all my transfers have been rated as a B or above. Even Ignacio, 
I think we did it. I think we made everyone B or above. Even Mark Navarro, who hasn't played at all, is a C plus. Javi Simons is a B. Kennedy is a B. Jayan was a D. Yeah, I understand that, but he's on loan, so I'm not too bothered. He's definitely going back to Roma next year. He was awful. And moments to remember, goal of the season, Pino. Yeah, interesting stuff, I suppose, but it doesn't really mean too much to me. Uh, finances are going up and up and up, yet the money in my pocket is definitely not. We have no transfer budget this year. This is the team that apparently we lined up with the most. Obviously, that's before Ketty came in. Uh, awards, this is the thing I'm interested in. Young player of the season, Juan Foyth. That's a weird one. He's not really that young, is he? Pau Torres, fans player of the season. Onana, signing of the season. Oh, it's nicely split between everyone here, isn't it? Everyone getting a lot of respect from the fans. Competition awards. We did have Spanish League Player of the Year, Pau Torres, and Europa League Player of the Season, also Pau Torres. And then a few extra things here. Record breakers from certain players. Awesome. Right, that's great. But can we move on? Can we see if our budget has been increased? Um, yes, I'm fine with that. I'm not going to negotiate that. I never do. You know what? There's too much going on here. I don't think we're going to find out right now. We'll just have to have a look in a little bit of time. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the first season here with Villarreal. I'm very excited for the next one. Big changes ahead. Hopefully we can push on even further and the same with the YouTube channel as a whole. Hopefully we'll keep pushing on keep developing it. Thank you guys for all the support that you do give me here on the channel. I hope you all have excellent days, excellent weeks, whatever it might be. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you and goodbye.